wouldn't, I've never been one of the person who would wear like one of those WWJ do bracelets or something like that, but I just, just, I'm not that kind of person. But on the other hand, too, you try to say, okay, what, you know, what would God want me to do and, and what examples did he provide? And, and so how can I follow that example? How can I, you know, why did God put me here? What's my purpose? Uh, and my purpose is not just me and it's not just my family, but it's, but it's, to help other people as well, and, and so then how can how can we do that? Uh, Esther and I, we have two good friends who were missionaries in Nigeria for, for several years, and so we actually talked about how we wanted to support them, uh, and and we kind of sat down and said, okay, we want to, you know, what could we provide that would help them out? And in, in a way, that was sort of the same thing I had mentioned a little bit before about, uh, you know, okay, these are these are the days that I'll be working. You know, every day, you know, this week, or or you know, every Friday for these few months or whatever it is, those are going to be the days that I'm going to be working as though we're with the missionaries there in a sense. So instead of I'm not there helping them teach, or I'm not there helping them build whatever it is they're building, but in a way, it's like it's almost like a barn racing. You know, in the olden days, some of these barn burns on everybody jumps in and builds it. Well, we don't really do that anymore today. But in essence, that was like my barn building. I would show up on this day, and that's when I'm going to work to support that. And One of the things we've tried with the boys is to, to kind of always tell them that uh, that what we have, you know, isn't from us really. I mean, it, it came from God. So everything that we have is because God let this happen, and God put it in a place for it to happen. And so we have to in a way be responsible with that and one of the things, ways to be responsible with that is to give back and to, so the tooth fairy came to Andrew the other day that okay. was the tooth and so we kind of said well what are you going to do with this money and you know you try to identify okay you can do this with this and then and okay well you know what are you going to donate what are you going to give and and so just kind of illustrate that that it's not even a it's something that is just natural to happen that you're supposed maybe not some, you're supposed to do it, but you also want to do it. You get joy from doing that. So I think that's one of the things that you try to identify that it it's something that should bring you happiness to give as well. And this obviously isn't easy necessarily for a, for a kid to know, but if you can kind of make it personal and say, okay, this is going to help some some other kid maybe have food, or this is going to help some other kid learn about God, they kind of like that, I think. They like to hear that. So they like to know it. In, in some ways, I mean, it feels good. I mean, it, that's one of the things about it is it feels good to give. You know, it actually, I mean, in, when you're in church, act the the active action of actually putting the envelope in the basket, it somehow, it feels good. I never regret what I've given. It's, the regret comes when I think, what else should I or could I have given that I didn't do it? Does that make sense? It's nice that Esther and I are, we sort of have similar views on maybe what we'd like to give and how we'd like to do it and then it's just the question of okay let's make the commitment and then and then live up to it. It's not a sacrifice when what you're doing gives you joy as well and gives you happiness. Sure.